Melani is about to drastically change her hair 10 different ways without cutting or coloring. How, how can I, you do this? I am. Yes. <laughs> so they tell me. Hmm. Barry Hendrickson, owner of Bits Pieces Wig Salon in New York City, is going to show us how to change my look. Hi. Without having nice to do a thing. Thanks for Bonnie. coming in. So, so I would assume get... that this is the way we're going to do it. Today, right, there we there have there. many, many selections of synthetic and natural hair wigs and hair pieces to show you. Uh, we have some fun things that all the manufacturers have put together to show you how easy it is to change your looks. Tell me about this synthetic versus natural hair. Which is better and why would one person use one over the other? Okay, synthetic hair has been developed very much these days to so where they're blending many different colors and different, uh, different curl patterns so that it's much more natural. In the old days, the synthetics were very hard and very straight and they looked like pieces. Um, and now, today, they're much more realistic. In real hair pieces, or natural hair, is also something that's being developed today, and it's very much a, a part of what's happening. Do you know, I don't even think about people wearing wigs anymore. I, I remember, oh, in the 60s, that it, it seemed like women were wearing wigs, and I'm wondering if that's because I don't even know it's a wig. Are that's they so true. natural that that's there could be people wearing them, and I don't even know? There are people walking around you don't even know. Sometimes right. I even get fooled. What's the difference between a wig and an attachment? Uh, a wig is a full piece that fits over the entire head, and an attachment is, a, is an add-on selection. Let's, let me show you something. Okay. Right. okay. I'm excited. First one Change that I'm going to show you, and, and what I'm going to do is start to prepare your hair. And uh, we take your regular hairstyle, and for this particular piece, we're going to pull up the hair into the crown of the section of the head. And this is very easily done in the morning, so if you're starting out early in the morning, you want to do this real quick and have a total transformation. This is a hair piece that's on an elastic base oh. with combs that are called hair razors. Hmm. Now these simply insert into the hair just like that behind the hair oh, piece. And nice before mark. you know it, you've got a nice little transition. Your name would be Babs. Okay, Babs. Hey. Okay, it's not so, you know, it's kind of light too. Are these, they they ever fall good. off? Can those things fall uh, off? No, this razor comb secure. attachment is very secure. And most yeah. of the manufacturers that work with these have developed them to stay on very easily. Really? This particular one has a pouch in it. It's the same hair razor technique, and it gives another look altogether. Let's pull it out and show what, what it is. What would that cost? Something like this is uh, in the neighborhood from $65 to $120. Now, do guys come in now and ask you for ponytails? Because I see a lot of those around. Oh. Yeah, they do, and they're, they're a little more difficult to add on to because oh. we have very short hair, and yeah. it's not easy. This way, you can put it on and have a nice... <laughs> Okay, okay I look. About, I feel about ten years younger. Like the exactly. Barbie thing. That's what I feel Let's like. Say you want to really Barbie. change your look, and, and you've worn this during the daytime, but you want to go out at night uh -huh. and have a different look. But the same thing. We have another one that's been put out by Rene of Paris. Uh, these are manufacturers. This is a, a crimp. A crimp. And that. all you do is simply insert it underneath the ponytail and lock it in with the other hair razor pulling out this and it's putting your wow. ponytail inside that magic little pot. <laughs> oh my goodness, I feel like I should be wearing something slinky with this one. Yeah, okay, now if this fe uh, feels like too much for you, we do cut them back and cut them down so you can sort of modify it a oh. little bit to your own technique. It, it changes the way you feel then as far oh, as what you would order, really. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and it, it, they really are very comfortable. It doesn't feel like it's going to come off at all. Exactly. How now, you, how do you clean these yeah. things, Barry? These, uh, actually I have a little home tip for you on oh. cleaning them. Most people wash them with shampoos and um, they use the wig washes. Uh, I, through my experience, I've found that uh, if you use a home product, such as Murphy's Oil Soap, see, the wigs dehydrate in a synthetic line. Murphy's and Oil Soap? Murphy's I use it to scrub, soap. like, grit and stuff off my wood table. Yes, it's made from wood floors because it leaves a residue of oil in it. Oh, my gosh. And we found that the uh, synthetic fibers t depend on which one it is, of course, they tend to dehydrate. They get very dry and brittle. I'm sure many people out there have, have by, bought wigs and so forth where they've gotten them home and worn them and then they look like terrible. I mean, you know, they, do, they dry out, they get bushy. Right. And if you, if you do it um, right away from when you buy it, I'm gonna put on a three-quarter wig now. It, it tends to keep the shine and makes it last longer. This is a three-quarter piece. It has a comb attachments on the inside and at the nape. And to put this on, we simply put our thumbs underneath the comb and we slide it through into the hair, lock it into the hair, pull wow. it down and the comb goes up. See it really oh. looks you look like oh. Dolly Parton. Oh, oh I was just gonna say <laughs> I may break out in song. Then you just pull your own hair up on the side. Look at that. As simple as I that goes. It. And you can take a clamp and clip it right up there just like now, that. Now, Barry, a lot of people do these for fashion statements now. I, you know, it used to be, well, gee, her hair was short in the morning and now it's uh, longer at night. Exactly. And people would sort of look at you differently. But you change your clothes from morning to night. Why not change your hair? Well, style? sometimes your this job, and, you know, keeps you structured and you have to keep a certain look. And by day, you have to have a very conservative look. And at night, you want to put on a, a fantasy look. 
and therefore you can add length with these three quarters. As you can see, I've given her curl, and I've given her a length without having to do any work Does at all. Does it look natural? Yeah. Would really you know, does. do you think? And now I understand earlier that you had a chance to try on some different full wigs with some colors. Let's take a look at these on the monitor because I, I okay. haven't seen these yet. I can't wait to take a look full at Full transitions them. are easy. This oh, my God. What do you think? Jane Fonda. Jane Fonda. A steward is coming. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, flight attendant. This is a wonderful attendant. Look at that. Flight attendant. Oh. What is Wow. This That's, is a nice yeah. curly look. I like that. Body you like that? Yeah. Oh, now look at that. Isn't that amazing? Now Sally we made Zeal. a very conservative look. Sally <laughs> oh, nothing. I, I kind of, I, I liked that one. That, that changed. I got to tell you something. But I look better than that. <laughs> well, you did not look now, bad. Look at that. No, I, I now, never this seen is a really... lace hairline. A, ha a lace hairline is a theater wig, and it actually makes it look as if it's growing right out of your hair. Is See, it, now this is a three-quarter also. That it really does. Isn't that so you something? can add. Are these very expensive? No, they they start at about thirty-five dollars and go up to about one hundred and twenty dollars, and they're an easy attachment. What Fun. celebrities have you worked with? Because I know you, oh you told me you did RuPaul, which uh, right. is Right, RuPaul is a good client of ours, and, and he really shows off what we can do as far as changing people. I've worked on many people. Uh, I would, it's hard to say all Cher? of them. Yes, did I worked you really? with Cher. Oh, really? During the era where she wore her spiky wig, uh -huh. her Tina Turner look, we uh -huh. did that for oh, her. Oh, wow, that's I worked fun. on Diana Ross, and I've worked with just uh, so many celebrities. Uh, they're all wonderful. But in, in this particular line of business, we always run into the entertainment side. So we're lucky. If I want to go purchase one of these, where would I do that? Well, in most wig houses today, all over the country have these available. Mm -hmm. Each manufacturer has worked very, uh, very painstakingly to develop these so that they're easy to attach. Now, one good thing to do with these is also to add little combs and accessories. When you put an accessory into it with a comb, it sort of takes your eye level away from what the, the hairpiece where oh. it begins and ends. Now, Bonnie's hair is nice and short in the top, so it feathers over the the foundation of this three quarter. Wow. See, all these are so natural. I mean, yeah. you could wear these out and nobody I'd, would ever know. I'd have to get used to wearing it. Just, just to make sure it's not gonna, it's not painful at all, but just kind of get used to it, the balance of it. But this is fun. Sarah, you I are love terrific. this Thank idea. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you for being here. So much. We're coming back uh, to say goodbye, actually, at our home right after we do this. Uh -huh.